Hey guys, it's uh, CNH Smallsy, or I should say Chris Yassin Bear, back from CNH Smallsy again for another informed review, uh, review video about a, uh, another snowblower that uh, we've seen uh, quite frequently over here. This is a uh, older design. This is called a uh, Snow Champ uh, by Mastercut, basically. Um, uh, as far as I know, they were an MTD brand. It was basically like a rebranded, uh, I want to call it like rebranding company that was basically was made by MTD, but they slapped their own name on. It. And basically, this is a uh, power propelled. They call it right here because uh, the augers basically pull it forward whenever you're um, uh, you know, you're 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 sucking your snow up out there. It was basically all it is a name, a, 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 a nickname or something like that out there for that. And this is made back in the early 90s right here. I'll even show you what the, um, uh, what's that here? the serial number and spec number they have on here. Now this thing was made by the Air Cap Industries, right? You can see it right here. But as far as I know, I was doing my research online and supposedly these things were also made by MTD as well too. It says uh, you got spec mall number on there for that and you also have the Air Cap Industries um, seal right there below that you can see them you can get a better close picture right there for you there you go guys air cap industries corporation tupelo ms on i think it's mississippi i think and uh, that's basically where the where they were supposedly made but uh from my information i think they were also made by mtd like, as like a subcontractor for some of these ones out there as well too and this is the, the typical uh single stage machine that uh, most people have if you have a small driveway small walkway and stuff like that out there for that uh, this is a non-electric start out there and it has the typical snow king uh three three horsepower engine or four that it, it's it's very durable out there for uh, you're doing your sidewalks and stuff like that out there for that and they have your typical v-belt on the side as well too so these machines well this specific machine was made probably like i said by probably by 19 in, in the in the mid uh 90s either for that so it's 90 110 it's about 15 oh well, it's, it's more than 15 so it's about probably about 25 years old it at uh, my guesstimation for that and i'll fire it up here for you guys and you can see how this one actually signs right here because we had it running here a few minutes ago so i'll get it started up here again so you can see how this one runs after we did the um the fuel system cleaning on this one because this thing carburetor is all screwed up again as usual people leave the uh gasoline in there for two or three years and it gets all funny down inside it turns into jelly in some cases every time you get a water in there and basically scores up the um the aluminum uh car bowl down as well too so i think this thing started see a little start up on uh choke over here without priming it see if we can do that so let's see what it does here yeah there we go okay Work good down there. It's up nice and quick. Let me take it off, choke again here. That works good. The proper works good. And that's one sounds pretty good to me. And it does have uh, compression. It's still in, in excellent shape. Got about a heart and uh, it's about a hundred and twenty psi. If you can hear that that that, that chuff inside when it, when it slows down out there for that, you know the engine's usually in uh, good running shape internally for that. And let me see here. There's also one other thing I want to mention about this machine too. Uh, they have the older design. Where's that paddles underneath here? Uh, where they actually are screwed in on these ones right you can see them they're screwed in as opposed to the other ones being simply um riveted in there so it's easier to take them out as well too so you don't gotta constantly try to grind off the rivets on these ones right here as well too so it definitely helps you out in uh, the, the actual labor department trying to put new pads on her if you ever have to and these pads on this one are still look pretty good on her so there's no problem with that at all it should basically throw the snow probably about me 10 15 feet at least out there if you got 
two three inches of snow out there for that so that's everything i can really tell you about that guys and uh we actually got some snow here today well i should say it, it's just basically flurries out here right now because uh it's probably about maybe about 29 30 degrees out here with the windshield probably takes it down to about 27 26 out here right now so it is a bit nippy out here just staying out here right now so that's everything i can really tell you about this machine it's a uh, mastercraft power uh power propelled as they called it right there as well too snow champ and it was made by air cap and i believe it was also made by mtd as well too for uh, certain variations out there for that so if anybody has any questions comments whatnot about something like that or uh like snowblowers in general just like leave me a message here on my page and i'll try to answer anything they have or anything i can tell you about any of these machines i'll see you guys have a nice day